Well, as a driver, nothing would be scarier than seeing headlights heading your way in the wrong direction. Yeah, terrifying. Wrong way driving is a terrifying experience, and drivers are facing it too often here in Metro Detroit. In fact, just this week, a wrong way crash happened on I-94 in St. Clair County. Michigan State Police say that crash killed both drivers. A child in the car going the right direction was taken to the hospital in critical condition. This video I want to show you from Michigan State Police shows them pulling over a driver going the wrong way on I-75 near Sashaba. This is dash cam video from that stop. It happened over Thanksgiving. Luckily, MSP was able to stop that driver before a crash happened. And now there's a local auto parts supplier in Auburn Hills looking to help stop wrong way drivers through the use of new technology. Ali Hoxie is here to explain the tragedy that inspired this change. Well, this mar month marks three years since the Abbas family was killed in a wrong way crash. The family of five all losing their lives. The goal of this new technology is to stop a tragedy like this one from ever happening again. I just really appreciated his his approach and his attitude on, on, on baseball and life and, and his family. And, and I really wanted to do what I could to, um, you know, do something about this problem that, that took their lives. Jonathan Stone and Issam Abbas used to coach their son's baseball team together. The Abbas family killed by a drunk driver going the wrong way on a Kentucky freeway while driving home from their Florida vacation. We circled up the moment we found out about it and uh, talked about, you know, what, what can we do? Jonathan Stone and his team at Continental created the wrong way driver detection and alert system. The technology is now set up at the Jocelyn exit ramp at I-75 in Auburn Hills. Here is how it works. As soon as a driver drives the wrong way on the exit ramp, lights will start flashing, signaling to the driver to turn around. If they miss that cue, a signal is sent to the Michigan Department of Transportation's Traffic Operations Center. And then we can alert authorities quicker than a 911 call from a passing motorist. Rob Morosi is a spokesperson for MDOT. They are working with Continental to help test this technology out, stating MDOT will try anything to stop this scary trend that's on the rise. According to AAA's most recent numbers, there were around 2,000 wrong way drivers between 2015 and 2018. That's around 500 deaths a year, an increase from an average of 375 deaths a year between 2010 and 2014. Faster that we get that information into law enforcement's hands, the better chance we have that this incident won't become catastrophic. Stone says the goal moving forward is to have this technology talk directly to the drivers inside their cars if they do try to enter the highway going the wrong direction. Alicia Keenan. I remember um, that tragedy with yes. the boss family several years ago, and it's so great that at least they are remembered this way that can save more lives. Without it's hard a doubt. to ever forget them. A great use of technology to help keep us all safe. Thank you so much, Allie.